Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day, a fantastic week. Uh, this is going to be a start to um, a new format that I'm going to try to do. I Surprisingly, I thought in my head all day yesterday and all day today that I will not say that, but I did. Anyway, keeping up positive vibes and everything, I have to do a lot of work. Um, Brady is coming over, I think. I think he's coming over. We're gonna watch a movie at 6 o'clock. I actually literally just got out of the shower, and it is currently 5.42, and he's gonna come over, I think. I don't know what the exact plan is. It's kind of unpredictable with him, but I gotta get my room clean, because look at that. It is just really messy. I gotta put some clothes away. I gotta have to put... Uh, I have to make my bed for one thing. I also have a lot of trash to throw away. Things that I don't want him to see because he just... His opinion or... I don't know, his energy about him. I don't want to really... I don't want to see him get the way that he does if he sees me with just this big mess. So, I'm gonna get to it. So I was cleaning up, and I found something really interesting on my shoes, my work shoes, on the, the left shoe, the left foot. I got, <laughs> I don't know if this is melted or if it's actually worn out. It's just weird that it has this black ring around it, which usually tends to mean that it melted. Things melt, if that's the case. But I'm not sure, because it's very squashed down, it's... It's very, like, this is silly, but like, it's even really bad in there. I, d I don't know what to make of this, and I guess I would explain why. At one point uh, during the week at work, I, it, I guess I stepped in a puddle and it kind of got my socks wet, and I was like, that's odd. I guess these aren't the greatest shoes for getting wet, but that's probably why, because as a big hole in the side of it. Um, but I will say, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, my bishop sent me, well, he, he dropped this off for me because I'm having a hard time keeping this room warm enough. Like, I'm freezing if I don't have this thing even just on. So, uh, I, I don't know, like, you have to have this a certain amount, certain distance away from items. So, I wonder if maybe these shoes got way too close to this thing so yeah quite a mystery but at the same time i do know i need to get new shoes so i think tomorrow i'm going to get more sh i'm going to get some new shoes so we'll see what happens there also i've cleaned up a lot i've cleaned up in here uh, my bed is made ish and then um things I, I still need to put my dirty laundry in the dirty clothes basket I still need to clean up here. I don't know, it just feels much better already, just having that basket empty of my clean clothes. So now my, my closet looks a lot fuller, which is good. So I guess uh, I'm just gonna continue cleaning up and we'll see what happens uh, if Brady comes or what, what we're gonna actually do, because we're gonna watch. I'm hoping that he's okay with this. I want to watch The Secret. Again, he has never seen it before, he had never heard of it before, so I want to show him The Secret. I, I think it's something that he'd enjoy. Really quick though, I wrote this down, I don't know if I've shown this before, but I had like $12,000 on here, but now I have $50,000. So my plan is to use the Law of Attraction 
to just really imagine, feel, uh, imagine and feel what it'd be like to have $50,000 a year, like, that's going to be incredible. That's going to be an amazing life for me. That's going to be phenomenal if I can even just get $50,000 a year. I think, honestly, even 40000 or 30000 a year is phenomenal. But if I can, if I can try to attract $50,000 a year, who knows? I, I, I know if I did a million, I wouldn't necessarily reach a million, but I'd reach somewhere really high. But uh, of course, your goals have to be reasonable. So the universe isn't just going to throw you a million dollars if that's what you want. If you're not even close to that at all. It's not just going to throw that at you. But if you're reasonable with your goals and what you want, then for me at least, $50,000, that's a high, high stretch, but it's also reasonable at the same time. For me, $50,000 a, a year, that's, that's beautiful, that's perfect. I'm excited and so happy because this is what's going to help me get to Texas. If I can somehow make this happen per year, consistently, I can I can finally move to Texas, and that's going to be phenomenal. I'm just really excited and looking forward to it. Well, I wasn't literally planning this, but I decided to go on a walk, which I did plan, just to kind of clear my head, get out of the apartment, because I've been in there all day, so I decided to come out, take a walk, and what I didn't plan was to actually show you this, but in a previous video, I think I said that there's this road which I'm actually walking across right now that looks so cool and I've always wondered where like where this road was because I see it from on the ground beneath the bridge that I'm currently walking on right now so here it is this is so beautiful such a beautiful view a view that I never get to see. It just makes it look more beautiful from up here than it does from down on the sidewalk. It's just so beautiful. Look at it. Way, way, let's see. Oh. Well, okay. Well, Further down, there's there's a, a bus depot, which is way, like, where that, I don't know if you can see, not this first green light where this car at the bottom left is, but there's a green light up ahead that, if you can see it, is where the bus stop is, and it just doesn't look as pretty down there, from down there. When I look at it from up here, it's all just beautiful. So I can see this bridge that we're standing on. I can see this bridge from down there. The park is over there. Or there is a park over there. It's just so, so beautiful. I love the view from up here. It's just absolutely beautiful. It makes the whole, just a different perspective. It's, it's beautiful. Well, this is kind of silly to have a sidewalk that goes all the way over here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was gonna say that it would be silly to have a sidewalk that goes all the way over here but not have an opening to get out. <laughs> so that would have been silly, but I guess uh, I, I've never been down here, so I'm just exploring, just checking things out, seeing what's all over here. I just gotta say the area that I'm walking in, it's beautiful. You would never know that there was a highway just up above us. I mean, it is a little bit ways away because I see houses, so... Plus their property, like, there's a highway up there. Lots of cars, lots of busyness. But the area, it's just beautiful. It's just... Tree cover and... I mean, further back behind me is a lot more tr tree cover, but it's just phenomenal. It's beautiful. It's calming, peaceful. I love it. I don't know what has actually been recording or not because I think I made a mistake and thought I was recording and wasn't. But anyway, I'm on a nice big long walk and it's beautiful. And I think I forgot to mention that today is Sunday the 20th. 
tomorrow, the 21st, it's my birthday. Really excited. I'm not really sure how to start the next portion of the video because I've never done a format like this. But today is my birthday. It's September 21st and I am really excited for today. It's actually been a little bit crazy because I was, I've been up since 10.30 a.m. but I somehow for some reason was not able to start on things till a lot later for some reason. Uh, I showered <clears throat> and shortly thereafter Brady called me and texted me saying hey we gotta switch out your uh, remove one of the chips from your A9 miner. So that bottom one if you can see at the very top where it's actually more visible where the light is is where that chip is missing. So we have sold, or I have sold, he helped me sell my one of my chips from the A9. So I got money coming in really soon, so I'm really excited about that. I also, um, it's also been really crazy because I needed to leave at 1 o'clock. Like, my mom was going to come and pick me up at 1 o'clock today <clears throat> to come home so that we can go to the play in time. Uh, um, just based on her plans for today, but then changed plans changed a little bit, so I was able to uh, have plans to go at like three o'clock, like be at her house by three o'clock, so then we'd be able to have time for dinner and then to make it to the play on time. But um, so I would have to leave by three o'clock in order to make it. Well, sorry, two, like around 2.30ish in order to make it by around 3 o'clock. But Brady wanted to, had some errands, some, some, some of the same similar errands that I had to do anyway today. So I went with him to go drop off the, the mining parts at the post office, but then they took forever. So it took a long time for that to happen but then um we went to the store went shopping for food and that took a little bit longer than i expected of course we went a little bit faster than we normally would have but uh it still took a long a little bit a little while i texted my mom and found figured out that i could possibly make it by four o'clock and she said that's totally great that's totally fine we still would have enough time to go to dinner and then to the play so it's been really crazy because i currently i have laundry to do but it takes about two hours to do because the washer takes about 30 minutes or 40 minutes closer to 40 minutes but i round that up to another hour and then the dryer does take an hour like shy of like two or three minutes less of an hour so it takes a long time, and I, so I wouldn't have been able to make it anyway by 3 o'clock. So I'm glad that I have the ability to go at 4 o'clock. So, or I have to be at the train station that she's going to pick me up at, at 4 o'clock. Yes, I'm going to take the train. It's something that I don't, I don't get to do all too often, so this this will be a real treat to me. This morning, I, I actually ordered two more stones slash crystals so this is exciting i get to have an eyelight stone uh which is good for eliminating debt or helping with your financial um habits i guess and then i also got a lep lepidolite lepidolite <laughs> stone um i actually kind of forgot what that was called but i kind of let my intuition just kind of guide me on exactly what what does my body need so I chose lepidolite um, I could probably look that up and see what that one's good for but I'm really excited to get these I actually got these at a discount because they um, they gave me a discount for my birthday a discount code so I chose to follow through with that and I got more stones from it 
Alright, just on the website, and now that I see it, this is exactly what I needed, and I remember now why I chose this. Um, because I, I need restful sleep, peace, and tranquility. Um, it, I'm just really excited about this. Uh, these stones and crystals, wow, I just looked over at this crystal, uh, this quartz crystal, and my body was like, hey, I want that. Good for new ideas, serenity, and wisdom. So I'll probably get that later, sometime. But yeah, lepidolite, 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 <laughs> try to find a site really fast. Yeah, this one's a really good one. Uh, one that I really, really need. So, I'm really excited. I'll actually leave a link in the description for this website. Um, I'll put the link up, uh, the section that I'm looking at, where it tells me about all the crystals and what they're good for. I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. So, uh, if you want to check out this website, it's, it's really good. It's really cool. This is where I've been getting all my stones and crystals from as of late. So, um, yeah, I think... I think if you're into energy and crystals and stones and like and all that kind of stuff, this is a great site to, to go to to get information and figure out which stone or crystal is right for you. I think if I can, I'll also add in another a separate link for the on the same website but a different tab where you can basically take a crystal test to see which crystals your body or your spirit really really crave and are wanting. And it's really cool. I think anyone who's into crystals and stones would really enjoy this website. It's fantastic. At least for beginners, anyway. It It's so dumbed down and simple. It's just, it's phenomenal. It's it's exactly what I have been needing. Uh, I, I do not like, I, I've looked up crystals on Amazon and other websites, and I just don't like the feel of it. It feels very manufactured, very industrial, it doesn't feel personal. But when I look at this website and order from them, it feels personal to me. And that's the goal, that's the purpose of this website, of this company that I'm ordering it from. They they just do it right. I just feel like they just do it right. It's it's amazing. It's awesome. I just made it to the bus stop, or to the, the train station for American Fork, and just waiting for my mom to come and pick me up. I hope that I didn't cause too much trouble by being technically late, but I mean, I said around four, because nothing can be 100% perfect, but very close. No public access for Hale Center Theater. And it's wheelchair cool. access. Probably have a hallway that you can't see. Is it can you see it? Yeah, it says I can wheel stairs. Oh, okay. That's odd. I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare do that. Nope, not doing that. Mm -mm.
Well, that was quite the play. Whew. It was kind of like a concert, but with a story. It was actually really incredible. Uh, I couldn't really relate to the songs and the people, the characters, because it was based on the, well, Million Dollar Quartet is what the, the musical was, or the play, but it felt more like a concert. It was based on the story of how Elvis, um, Johnny Cash, and two other popular singers in their day became famous and became who they were, who they became. And I couldn't relate too much to the songs. I recognized a few, a small few of them, but overall I could not relate to the songs, but I definitely appreciated, and it reached my soul, the, the story of what it took for them to, like what was their story in order to get to the point that they were at, uh, to become famous and popular and you know, get their music going, like, what did it, what did it take, and who they went through, and what they went through, all the things, it was incredible to get their story, at least, and it reached my soul, it, it made me feel good, I, of course, I wouldn't necessarily say I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I did enjoy what my experience was, because at least I was able to appreciate the story, and the set, everything. It was incredible. It was so, so beautiful. It was such a great play. So I, I really love, I guess it's a tradition, every, every birthday that I've had for ever since I got back from my mission at least, I've gone to a play. I've gone to a musical. That's like the greatest gift that I could ever get from Hale Center Theater. I love them. To me, it's the Utah Broadway. I have never been to a Broadway show, but to me, Hale Center Theater is right up there with Broadway. It's I love love Hale Center Theater. At least at least the um, the one in Salt Lake, uh, the one in Orem. I haven't actually been to, but I have been to inside the building. It's not really the fanciest, but I don't know. Can't judge a book by its cover. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off for tonight, and we'll pick it up tomorrow. Well, hello. It's September 22nd, a uh, day after my birthday, and it was fun. I want to just report that on my way to work, it was actually quite phenomenal. I felt relaxed and very happy. I hope that you guys are feeling happy because you utilize the law of attraction, it's like really incredible. It's an incredible experience. I felt invigorated and excited for the fact that um, <laughs> my goal is to have five or ten sales on my Redbubble shop in the next, by the end of the month, really. Um, or at least to have made $75 from my Redbubble shop. I'm just really excited, and I'm excited to keep using the Law of Attraction to kind of get my future going the way I want it to. Of course, I have to put in some work. I have to do what I can, if I can. Um, of course, though, sometimes all you can do is just imagine and be optimistic and be happy and positive about uh, different outcomes of your own life and your future. I got home today. I I just got back from work and I had a package and I'm really excited about this new thing that I got. I always seen it as more of a girly thing and never, never, I've never seen people use it. No one talks about it, but I got a pumice stone. By the way, this this video is not sponsored, nothing sponsored here. I am purely just showing you guys what, what I got because I love what I, I'm excited to use what I, what I got. Uh, the pumice stone. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for the website that I got this from, but it's a pumice stone. I'm really, really, really excited to use it. 
Um, I've never used a pumice stone before. I don't know how it actually works and what I can use it for or on, I guess. So, I guess one day I'll be taking a bath and I'll be able to use a pumice stone. So I'm really, really, really excited uh, to use this, at least to give my feet technically, basically a massage in some way. So, I mean, that's my goal. That's what I want to do with the pumice stone is kind of really for my feet because my feet they they're 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 really sore and I walk on them so much because I walk to work and I walk home from work and even at work I'm on my feet all day every day so when I come home all I want to do is relax all I want to do is sit down at my desk watch some videos YouTube videos or watch some Netflix so. I'm super excited about this pumice stone. Now the crazy thing is that I didn't know that I had ordered two of them. So I have another I have another package of uh, like in this package it came with two pumice stone packs. But I'm gonna text my mom and see if show her some pictures and see if she wants one because I didn't know that it came with two. So. I'm really excited about this pumice stone, um, and really, actually, from the same website, I'm going to uh, possibly get a loofah. You can actually put this loofah from this company. You can put a loofah, the loofah that they make, in the wash, so you can reuse it. It's crazy, because the ones that I use currently, you have to replace them uh, no later than three months at a time, and you have to get a new one, and that's money. So having one that you can, or even a couple, that you can just throw in the wash once in a while, that's perfect! That's exactly how it should be. I just love the idea of having things that can be reusable, reuse. Um, it, it's, I love it. I just love it. Good morning, it's September 23rd, and I'm actually feeling really, really, really tired. I stayed up pretty late. Well, not really, I don't know. I stayed up till, I think, almost to one, if not at least like 1.30. No, 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 I stayed up till about two o'clock. I didn't go to sleep till around two o'clock. Um, Brady came over to do my minors, but then he realized that the the stuff to waterproof them was at someone else's apartment, and we didn't want to go down there and get it from them because he was going to go help them as well to waterproof their minors. But we did decide to just watch a movie so we watched actually we watched Winchester it's really scary but it does give some insight into who Sarah Winchester was what she went through and the whole story is just incredible it was amazing I loved I loved the, the story but at the same time it was kind of scary so I don't think I got to sleep until like five or ten minutes after I went to bed but yeah and then afterwards we played Sunday music uh, spiritual uplifting um, music for just to recreate the 
the kind of energy and atmosphere that we were wanting. We wanted to bring the light back into my room. Um, so, he, so yeah, we watched it in my room. Brady didn't want to do that, but he couldn't get his computer at his apartment to work for some reason. So we ended up coming to my apartment, but it was actually really cool to be able to hang out with him the way that we did. It was, it was amazing. And uh, we, beforehand, we went to Arctic Circle, got food. Uh, we, we went through the drive-thru twice because um, I wanted a milkshake, but Brady didn't order it. So, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm walking to work. I'm really tired. I'm trying to keep optimistic, but it's exhausting. The law of attraction, using the secret, it's very exhausting. At least when you, when you do it at first, when you're starting out first time because it you're not used to it you're not used to it so it, it's exhausting at first but eventually it'll become second nature it'll be a, a habit to think very positively so I'm doing the best I can trying to think as positively as I can but also letting it be natural because if it's a chore you don't want that you don't want it if it's a chore but if you can do it when you feel invigorated and feel energized by and excited about the idea of the secret, then you're good. So I'm trying to do that, but I'm also just really exhausted. I'm not, not just exhausted from the secret, but exhausted, just tired because I didn't get to bed until like two o'clock last night. But I'm gonna head to work. I'll catch you later. Well, I've been home for a while from work. I actually got sent home. Well, I chose to go home earlier because of, you know, work situations are happening. And so it would be best for me to take my early day today instead of tomorrow because of certain uh, work situations going on. But when I got home, I was actually really excited to find out that Two, I believe two of my crystals came in. I ordered four, but two of them came in. I already took a sneak peek and know exactly what crystals they are, but I'm really excited. I want to show you which crystals they are and share with you what they are good for. And I'm really excited to use at, both of them. Both of them. I am so excited to use both of them. Um, especially one of them, which is good for cord cutting. So I'm really excited. You can probably guess which one. So let me know in the comments if you can guess which stone or crystal is the one that's good for cord cutting that I got. And see if you're right at the end of this portion or end of the video or whatever. Well, already this is quite interesting. This is different from how it's normally packaged. Yeah, it comes in the, the FedEx uh, packaging like this um, and it, it's actually usually smaller which is really interesting but it came in one of these I think I know which one this is came in this one I think I know why actually I don't know I guess we'll find out but can you guess which one this one is whoa it is heavy compared to most of the stones that I have. This is actually really heavy. That's cool. And it's really shiny, almost like metal. It's beautiful. Can you guess which one this one is? Five, four, three, two, one. It is hematite. So it has here all about hematite. It's, it's good for grounding. I think there might be another one, but the main thing that I got this for is mostly for grounding purposes. Um, I felt my body and my spirit saying you need, or that I need grounding. So I got the hematite for grounding purposes. So I'm really excited to look, um, to use this for maybe med meditation purposes and things like that. All right, the next one is 
what I'm really excited about. I'm excited to see what it what it looks like because I cannot see anything in here. I might have to put the camera down in order to get started um, and cut it open, possibly. Yeah, I think it will. So hold on tight. All right, it's just kept rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. Uh, let's see if I can do this without exposing exactly what this is called. Whoa. This is crazy. I am so, so excited to use this. This is black kyanite. Great for cord cutting, uh, protection, and ener energy clearing. Wow. Yeah, this... I'm so excited. I'd rather have black kyanite over obsidian for, for cord cutting. Because, one, I mean, look at the shape of it. It has all of those, all of these little, like, strands and layers. Um, so it makes it look like, it also feels really rough, which is great for, you know, knives and things to cut things, you know, sometimes the rougher is sharp. And for black kyanite, it's just perfect. It makes sense. It just makes sense. This is a knife. Um, and it is, like, said in legend or myth or whatever that, uh, what, what was it? The Archangel, um, his sword was, blade was made out of black kyanite. So that's really cool. <clears throat> also, I guess, so the, the other reason I love, I'd rather have black kyanite over obsidian, is that black kyanite, compared to obsidian, is... Um, very, like, if you have it on you to, like, around you too long, it can really do you more harm than good. It's great for cord cutting as well, but it's just, it's dangerous as well at the same time. So, black kyanite, this is what I want. This is what I would rather have over obsidian, but... These two, these two stones, it's just, it's just incredible. It's, it's beautiful. And I'm really, really excited to have the Black Kyanite. I'm really looking forward to using it. And I, I hope that you guys find these interesting. Oh, look, I got a little, oh, I dropped it. Where'd it go? So that, that is a piece of the black kyanite, so I gotta be very, very, very careful with the black kyanite, uh, and how I store it and use it. I can't necessarily put it in my pocket or anything, but yeah, I'm so, so excited to use this. Uh, I already have people in my life that have, have been in my life. Okay, I'll let you see my face as I talk about this. So, I already have a lot of people, well, a few people in my life that I have had energy cords, um, ties to them, and I would just love to cut those cords, or do what I can to cut those cords. I'm so excited to, to do that. It, it can be a very, um, you, you do have to be careful because if, especially, if the person that you're cutting the cord fr from knows about it and knows about, like, energy, feels energy, all that kind of stuff, then they're going to feel when you cut cord a cord from them. And sometimes if they, maybe the, if they're a toxic individual, they're going to, they're going to go like, hey, sorry, I just popped a bubble. Hey, do you, did you just cut a cord? Like... And then they would, like, beat you up, basically, verbally, mentally, emotionally, energetically, um, however it works. They will tear you apart, and 
but that the whole purpose of this is really to just prevent that or you know things like that I don't really know how to explain it but I'm just really excited actually do you know what that legend that I was telling you about it is a legend so it says that the blade of Archangel Michael's sword was made of kyanite sliced through negative emotions toxic ties with this crystal it is said to protect your energy field from energy vampires or relationships cut cords from any negative attachments with this crystal in hand wow yes this oh, this is amazing i'm really really excited to do it i'm gonna have to like get myself in the right mindset and mood but i think i'm gonna do it later tonight later tonight i'm going to do it i'm really really excited also at the same time i'm really excited about the hematite it really <laughs> it's so heavy it's so dense it's beautiful and it's got like these lines in it of sort of a different color I don't know it's just so so beautiful so smooth I love it I'm excited to use this for grounding purposes I'm really really excited so excited well today is the 27th of September and I'm gonna close up the last whole week vlog out I'm sorry I didn't get to have all of the the days in the week represented but I was just doing my best it's my first time doing it I'm gonna see how it goes I'm gonna see how it works I hope you guys have a wonderful week a wonderful day and I will see you in the next week I guess so without further ado hope you guys enjoyed till next time bye